So we're getting our first update for DaVinci Resolve 16 beta. There was a feature that I was really excited to see and try out. So we're going to try it out together. All right. So starting up DaVinci, haven't seen anything yet telling me that there was a new update. Um, and looks like coming into here, there isn't any update. So it seems like it's not calling home to see if there's an update yet. Um, don't know if they would implement something like that, but I know a lot of other programs do. So let's see what happens when I click on check for update. Okay, so this pops up. Let's see what we got here. So it's probably telling me a bit of the new features. Looks like this was just copy and paste from the 16 release. That being said, let's just download and see what happens. Okay, so it all it did is it opened up a web browser and just gave me a download link. So it doesn't tell me that there's an update and the panel that said what the updates were, if I'm not mistaken, all of that was just what was the new in DaVinci Resolve 16 and not what's the difference between beta one and beta two. So I'm gonna download this, install it and see if they're, what the new updates are. So I came over to the forms while it's still installing. And this is the kind of thing I, I would like to see on that uh, installer window is this is, you know, all of the improvements that have been issues that they addressed and, you know, different things like this. One thing that I did notice though, is uh, when you install or when I went to, when I clicked on that download link, it didn't ask for any credentials. So that was kind of cool. Um, I think in the URL they had the current uh, credentials, I don't know. It could have been there. But I wish all of this stuff would have been in that window that popped up. Um, so I could at least see what the new update was because that was just all old information. It seems like on here they just addressed a lot of the issues, which a lot of these issues I personally probably didn't experience just because I haven't used the beta uh, for that long. But I know that a lot of people uh, had issues, so. I still haven't done the Frame.io stuff. I used Frame.io uh, maybe two years ago, but that's a really cool addition for people that work, because I used to do a lot of color grading uh, with Frame.io, and everyone that I was uh, bring or I was trying to get to use Frame.io, I'd have to completely teach them every time, because no one knew what Frame.io was. But now that, the integrations are happening with all of the different companies. It's making it a lot easier and more people are uh, starting to get to know what it is. It seems like a lot of issues were fixed, which is obviously what a beta is. You're not going to add any new features. You're just going to fix them, which is really good because <laughs> uh, some companies just keep adding features instead of fixing the ones that they have now. So can't wait to get in and play with it once it's done installing here. Okay, so it looks like we're finished. And for some reason, I always get this issue where I lose the freaking connection. So I always have to find it. Another thing that I noticed when the installer went, it didn't like prompt me to shut down DaVinci. Because I know a lot of people are just going to click that button. It's going to pop up. It's going to start downloading. And then they're going to probably just try to run the installer uh, without closing DaVinci. Um, so, you know, that is a, another good idea to do. Now let's see what happens when I click this. Okay, now I'm up to the latest version. And yeah, one thing that I did, uh, one of the issues that I noticed was when I would bring audio in, if I could find some audio, um, I wouldn't, it wouldn't draw, well, it was very weird, but it wouldn't draw the audio, the waveforms. So let me just drag one in and I would grab the smallest thing, but that did draw a waveform. So that's cool. That did as well. All right. So that's kind of cool before I would have to, it was the weirdest thing. I would have to double click on it. I'd have to double click on it, see the waveform here, and then I could drag it down and it would have a waveform or I would have to restart the program. So uh, with that being said, go and get the update. If you're currently using the beta, 
and give it a try. If you're having problems with it, go to the forums, let them know so that, you know, they can continuously keep pumping these out. I remember last year, like every two weeks, they were pumping out a new update. Um, but yeah, I kind of wish that that, that that button, I don't know, you know, behind the scenes what would have to happen, but it'd be cool if I'd be able to click that button and it would do like a, a rolling update or some type of like live update, but I don't know if that's possible or not. Or when I click it, it closes DaVinci and then it starts the download with the update with a little thing. I don't know, make it more user friendly. Um, yeah, cause I feel like a couple of people are going to try to install with it open. And I don't know if that would cause a problem. But hey, at least now you don't have to go to the um, support page and I don't get 100 emails with people saying that they can't open the project because they were using the free version and then they accidentally download the studio version and it doesn't work and people think that they need to have a key and then they end up using beta for a year and a half because they think that that's the only free version. I've got so many emails about that. And that's kind of all I got for you. That being said, my name's JR. Have a good day.